The term looks maxing is becoming more and more mainstream every single day. It's such a great expression considering that the name in itself tells you exactly what it is. It's like if you were to create a character in a video game and then trying to max out the points on the looks stat. Looks maxing is the exact same thing with the little difference that you are the character and you want yourself to look as good as possible. But since this is real life, unfortunately you can't change your DNA, at least not yet, so you have a base which you have to settle for. No matter who you are, there are countless of things that everyone who wants to improve their looks can, and probably should, do. As we're going to start from the top, we will begin with hair. First, you should choose the right hairstyle for your face. This is actually one of the things, if not the one thing, that can give you the most improvement looks-wise in the shortest amount of time, and with the least amount of effort. So how do you know which hairstyle to pick? Well, there is a few ways, but the short answer is that you have to find out and see what works for you. You can start by looking around to see what kind of haircut looks good on other people around you or celebrities with your kind of phenotype and hair texture. But this is pretty vague, so I would also, probably more so, recommend that you find out and take into account what kind of face shape you have. If you have a rounder face shape, a hairstyle that's angular with shorter sides, such as these examples, will counter the roundness and softness of the face and therefore trick the eye into perceiving the face as sharper, which is good. A haircut like this that keeps some volume on the top, but please don't go Jimmy Neutron with it though, will also stretch out the face, counteracting some roundness and also giving the face a leaner look. A square face shape is usually best paired with messy medium length hair as this softens the harsh lines of the face. And if you have a longer and slimmer face, you should probably go for a longer hairstyle and avoid short on the sides since this will elongate an already elongated shape. If your face shape is oval or diamond shaped, you should be good with pretty much anything. Also, make sure to practice good hair care. I'd say shampoo and conditioner three times a week or when necessary. Conditioner you can actually use pretty much every day if you want to, but don't shampoo more than three times a week as this will strip the hair of its natural oils. If you want to improve texture, use a leave-in conditioner or serum to help smooth and tame frizz or try using a hair oil or a natural oil such as coconut or argan to help add moisture and improve the texture of your hair. To protect your hair, don't overuse heat styling tools or very harsh hair products such as those with a lot of sulfates and alcohol. But you should definitely use products if it helps you hold your desired style in place. If you have straight hair, I would recommend getting a salt spray since it adds texture, volume and also looks natural. Also, many men struggle with hair loss, so I want to add that if you are one of them, get on a hair loss treatment as early as possible. I would say that Dermaroller and Minoxidil is a good first line of defense, but if you have serious issues, get on Finasteride as this will stop THT from being produced, and thereby reduces hair loss in the hormonal way as well. Let's move down to the upper part of the face or the forehead. Since the forehead is on the skin, I think it's good to get onto skincare at this point. I would definitely recommend to implement a proper skincare routine, but I do want to say this, if you already have perfect skin, don't overdo it with skincare. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mainly the things to consider would be a cleanser, moisturizer and SPF. The cleanser will help with getting rid of all the excess dirt and impurities you've encountered throughout the day and thereby helping to keep your skin clear, healthy and radiant. A moisturizer will help your skin look hydrated and refreshed. SPF is really important, since it protects the skin from UV damage, which actually is the cause of up to 90% of skin aging. You know, things like hyperpigmentation, wrinkles and that kind of stuff. Therefore, this is a long-term looks max. Don't forget that it also protects against skin cancer. So what if you like tanning? Well, I know tanning is a looks max for many people, and you can still tan with SPF, but I don't recommend you doing so, but at the same time, I don't recommend you to become a vampire either. I mean, you need the sun for vitamin D, and it literally gives you life, and increases your mood. But you should definitely keep tanning in moderation, since the sad truth is that tanning is bad for your skin. And there's a ton of self-tanning options nowadays that gives you a real looking tan without damaging the skin. And another way is to eat a bunch of carrots. There's a thing in them called beta-carotene that gives the skin a orange-red glow that's actually been preferred over a tan in studies. And this can also be supplemented as well. Let's move down to the eyebrows and eye region. Basically, as a guy, you generally want straight, low-set, full eyebrows that are a tad bit darker than your hair color. This makes your eye area compact and gives more of a hunter-esque looking eyes. If your eyebrows are very thin or non-existent, consider applying castor oil or lattice or maybe even minoxidil to help them grow. Pluck any excess hair between the brows as well. 
If you have lighter eyebrows, definitely tint them a few shades darker, as this makes them look more dense. And always proceed with caution with eyebrows, as any small change can make a huge difference. I made a very in-depth video on this topic, check it out if you want to know more. The under eye region is a hot spot for looks maxing. That is because if you have hollow, baggy and purple under eyes, it will give you a tired and unappealing look. And this is very common and also something that's fairly easy to fix actually. The number one thing is sleep. This is simple, a lack of sleep will cause an increase of the retention of blood and fluid around the eyes, giving them a dark and sagging look. Every looks maxer should be optimizing sleep for general health and youth, especially important in the developing years. Aim to sleep around 8-10 to 10 hours every night. Just remember that sleep quality is equally important as sleep quantity. Make sure to sleep in a dark, cool environment if possible. Restrict the drinking of caffeinated beverages such as tea and coffee to a specific time frame that is at least 9 hours prior to bedtime. I also recommend everyone to be supplementing with magnesium glycinate since this helps the body relax and thereby improves sleep quality. If you still struggle with sleep, there are other things you can try like melatonin or something called DSIP. The next thing you can do about the under eyes is actually makeup. I know that as a guy for many it feels kind of odd to use makeup, but if you want a quick easy solution, you can grab your mom's or your sister's concealer, or get one yourself, since they probably have the same skin tone as you, which is very important if you're gonna do this, and apply a little bit to even out the under eye color. This is super easy and improves the looks of the under eye for most people. If your problem is more with hollowness and you want a more permanent fix, you could try something called Adopafil. Adopafil is a topical wrinkle filler designed to mimic lipofilling results. It targets the fat deposits by plumping them up and reducing the appearance of structural aging. But it's very little evidence that this actually works, but you know, I mean, it could be worth a shot if you do research and you want to gamble with this stuff. If none of the above works, there's also the route of the non-surgical cosmetic procedures such as fillers or fat grafts. Fillers is temporary, so always start there, and fat grafts are pretty much permanent. Let's move on to the lower third. Firstly, aim to get to the best looking body fat percentage for you. This is different for different people, but generally it is between 10 to 15%. Excess fat hides your bone structure, and a sharper jawline will give you a huge boost in attractiveness. I recommend caloric restriction running or any other cardio, and intermittent fasting. Just try to expend more calories than you consume. Fat loss also helps with other areas of your face, such as the zygomatic bones, which is the cheekbones. But the most prominent changes after losing body fat is usually in the lower third region. Many people say that fat loss is the most effective looks max there is, and that you don't know your own potential until leaning down. And this is especially true in this region. The next thing I would recommend is to consume less sodium, which is salt, and drink more water. I know this is kind of two tips in one, but hey, sue me. And since they are related to each other, I figured it's reasonable to lump these together. Not everyone knows this, but eating too much salt will cause your body to hang on to extra fluid. The sodium in salt pulls water into your blood vessels and enlarges them. This can cause your face to swell, and drinking water reduces the sodium levels in the body and thereby counters this effect. So make sure to always stay hydrated and try to not overdo it with the salty foods to make sure that your face is free from any unnecessary puffiness and as lean as possible. The next thing is something that we've covered a lot in this channel, which is mewing or correct tongue posture. This will immediately give your face a leaner look, especially from the side and three-quarter view of the face, this lifts the submental region and hyoid bone up, giving you a sharper look with a more defined jaw. Make sure to make this a habit if you haven't already. I mean, come on, it's 2023. You will look much leaner, it's an immediate effect, and also the younger you are, the chances are that you will promote a more forward-grown and therefore lean-looking face, since studies done on children show that mouth breathing, which mewing counteracts, leads to a convex facial profile, or melting face kind of look. Let's move on down to the mouth area. If you want the lips to be softer, you can apply water to your toothbrush and then brush your lips with them, as this will exfoliate the lips, but don't do this more than once or twice a week. Also, you can use a chapstick on them so they're soft and not dry and ashy. And when it comes to the teeth, you obviously want them to be white. The teeth whitening toothpaste and stuff you find in stores will only make a marginal difference, if any whatsoever. Whitening toothpastes and whitening strips typically contain higher amounts of abrasives and detergents than standard toothpastes to remove tougher stains. But they do not contain bleach, which is sodium hypochlorite, but some contain low concentrations of carbamide peroxide or hydrogen peroxide that helps make the teeth white. The thing is though, that it's a very small amount and whitening toothpastes and strips can typically only lighten the color by about one or two shades. So if you want real results and white teeth for real, you should look for treatments with 10% or more with carbamide peroxide. These strengths are not found in toothpastes or strips, but it's applicable with trays. 
You can do it at the dentist, which is quite expensive, or at home, which can be quite dangerous, so please be careful to not hurt the teeth. I can't finish off discussing the lower third without saying a few things about facial hair. I would definitely avoid a full-on beard if you already have a good jawline and lower third, but a light stubble can be a looks max. It all depends on what kind of look you're going for, if you're looking for the more clean-shaven Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic pretty boy, or more like the masculine Chad look. A beard can be good if you want to hide your lower third for some reason. Maybe if you have a very weak chin, or maybe you're overweight with a double chin, then it can be good, but make sure to keep it trimmed and not let it get too out of control since this will only scare women away, especially the younger ones. Let's move down to body. As we stated previously, being lean is a must for looks maxing in the face, and the same applies for body. The ideal body is lean and slightly muscular with broad shoulders and a small waist. I won't go into detail on this, but get on a workout regimen. Think Olympic swimmer. Focus on widening the shoulders and back with things like pull-ups, shoulder press and lateral raises. Lastly, if you want to look a bit taller, you can purchase shoes that give a height boost. I put some models on the screen that gives about 1 to 1.5 inch in height increase. If you want more than that, you can buy in-shoe lifts, which is like a sole that gives an increased height boost. These are usually between 1 and 2 inches as well, so combined you can get quite a height boost, but most people that has done this says that it's best to stay at about 2 inches, since it starts to look kinda weird after that. But that was all, thank you for watching and goodbye!